All right, so this is a good question. We'll actually go through each of the choices to understand why some of them are not true and why one of them is true. So pause the video, give it a shot, and press play when you're ready to talk to me about it. All right, so we're, we're trying to find out which of these statements is not always true, and the answer is choice two. Let's talk about why. Why is the product of two irrational numbers, uh, why are the products of two irrational numbers not always rational? So it's not true, always. So first of all, it can happen. It, it can happen that like, if you take, for example, pi, and you multiply it by pi, you get pi squared. Pi squared is still irrational. Take the square root of two, irrational, times the square root of three, and you get the square root of six. The square root of six is still irrational. There's no decimal root. In fact, the square root of any whole number is not a whole number. Uh, if it's some decimal, right, square root, and you'll see it start to expand, it'll be irrational. Uh, but in these two cases, we get output i for irrational. But we can also get rational results. For example, take pi, multiply it by its reciprocal, 1 over pi. That equals pi divided by itself. And anything divided by itself is 1. Also, with square roots, take the square root of 2 and multiply that by the square root of 8. Those are two irrational square roots. But that is the square root of just 16, which is 4. That's rational. So this is not always true. What about the other ones? The sum of two rational numbers is rational. Well, a rational number is when you have a number that can be written as the ratio of two integers, a and b. So if you take one rational number and add it to another rational number, it's called c over d. If you go through this process and get a common denominator, we'll call it bd, right? You get ad over bd plus cb over db. And now you have a common denominator. All I did right there is multiply the first fraction by d over d and the second fraction by b over b. If we add this, what do we get? AD plus CD, or CB, excuse me. And then we leave the denominator alone, right? When you're adding fractions, don't touch that. This is still rational because the product of two rational numbers is rational. The sum of two products that are rational numbers are rational. So this is a integer up here. This is a rational number. This is rational. When you take a rational and divide it by another rational, and you get a new rational number. So it's just a bunch of rational numbers combined. It's always true. It's always rational. Three, the sum of a rational number and an irrational number is irrational. That's always true. For example, if you take the square root of two and you add it to three, this number is still irrational. Think about it. If you have um, the square root of two, second square root of two. Oops, square root of two. Look at this long expanding decimal here. I don't know what's happening, sorry. Second square root two. 1.4142135, so on and so forth. If you add 3 to this, what's it going to do? It's just going to change the number in front. You're still going to have that non terminating, non repeating decimal that goes on forever without any repeating pattern. So you can take irrational numbers, add to rational numbers, and you'll still have a rational result. Choice 4 the product of a non zero rational number and an irrational number is irrational. That's true as well, for a very similar reason. If you take the square root of 2, and multiply it by 3, right, what's going to happen? Square root of 2 times, press the right button, 3, right? You're just tripling every digit in the sequence. So if the sequence to begin with of digits is never-ending and non-repeating, you're going to have a new sequence of never-ending, non-repeating digits. Uh, the only exception, of course, is 0, but they say it's non-zero, right? If you take 0 and multiply it by the square root of 2, that is rational. That's 0. But we're not allowed to consider that case. It's only cases where non-zero numbers times irrational numbers are being multiplied, and that's always irrational. All right, I hope this helped.